Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Mario and I'm back and this is part three and the final part of the comparison of the GoWise USA Air Fryer Oven, the Ninja Foodi Digital Air Fry and the Cuisinart Digital Air Fryer Toaster Oven. These names are crazy. So we're going to do a, a recap of the quick compare of the three and then we're going to cook something and I'm going to give you my final first impressions of how these stood up to each other. Stick around. So first I want to give you a perspective here of the kitchen area where I put this. I have the sink over here on the left, I have the stove here on the right, and I have this little corner here. As you can see, the GoWise USA, while it does get hot, it has a plastic build to it, and it fits in there well, and it doesn't make the countertop look too crowded. So actually, I know I bashed this in the past, but this is actually a thumbs up for the GoWise USA air fryer oven. Okay, we've got the Ninja Digital Air Fry Oven here. You can see you have a lot of space up top, so it doesn't make it look too crowded. You have a good backsplash you can see here. It is a little wider from side to side, so it will give you less counter space when in use. And when you flip down this door, as you can see, it does not interfere with the coffee maker in any way. And I have to say, it's kind of weird being able to see the back corner of that kitchen for the first time since I moved here, it seems, because this takes up less room. And when not in use, we can flip this up. And you notice it doesn't hit the cabinets when I flip it up. And you could actually push this out of the way. Now, I don't see myself doing that, but if we needed more counter space to work while I'm making dough, that is a perfect option. Keeping in mind, if you're gonna flip that up, uh, you're going to wait to make sure that you clean the inside of this first, at least roughly, you pull out the, the tray, clean it out, and you're probably going to want to wipe this all down in here and keep your oven nice and pretty like. I think Ninja good, did a good job with what they did here. And uh, I think this could be a very good choice for your kitchen especially if you don't need to cook a full bird in it, which is the limitation with this one, whereas the GoWise USA Air Fryer Oven and the Cuisinart, as well as the Breville, which I used to have, which I no longer have, uh, could full cook, uh, you know, at least, you know, a five pound plus turkey. And I think the Breville did like a 12 or 14 pound or something like that. Okay, next one up, Cuisinart. Okay, the Cuisinart. It still actually looks pretty quite at home here. Um, there's still plenty of space. Now, typically I've mentioned in the past that most of these say they want six inches of space. This one has about four and a half. It's got plenty of space on each side and there's actually quite a bit of room in the back because it's in a corner. So when you're using this, you pull it forward a little bit. When you're not, you can push it back. And with the GoWise USA, again, I'm gonna give them another point because if it's so small, which again has its drawbacks, it's small, you could just leave it with the front edge and never worry about it because it's such a small oven. But keep it in mind, this has quite a bit of functionality. Again, I'm disappointed in Cuisinart not putting a crumb tray in here. They would have lost some capacity. I think that's what it is because they put the control panel on top. But again, I think the control panel on top makes sense because the fans on top, which means this potentially could be on par with the GoWise USA air fryer oven because both of those units have the fan on the top versus the Ninja, which my biggest complaint so far would be the fan on the side. So it's more of a config, more of a convection oven, excuse me, instead of an air fryer. One other thing I figured you might want to see is what it looks like side by side, one versus the other, or in front of, you see the GoWise USA is a smidge bit taller, but it's probably four inches narrower and as far as depth goes I'd say they're considerably the same. With the Ninja it's actually four inches wider as you can see so you do need more counter space from side to side which isn't too much of a problem for me here right now. Uh, it is a little deeper um, but otherwise it's a it's a good looking appliance. Um, keep in mind again it's shorter I mean you can't cook a full chicken in here which could be a deal breaker. And the more I think of it, even though I don't do full chickens much anymore, being able to do a full chicken in here or rotisserie and the 
air fryer oven from GoWise or even a five pound chicken in the regular GoWise air fryer oven. This, I'm dinging it there for that. But I do think overall first impressions is the Ninja better than the Cuisinart, but that doesn't cook food. First impressions is what counts when cooking food. Fair is fair. While not quite twice as wide as the GoWise oven, it's a pretty wide unit. But look at the way this looks right here. Well, you can see the unit. It's small, so it's actually not too bad. But let's put the Ninja in there now. And again, it's really weird to me being able to see a backsplash here. Now, I could technically hang some things from the top of this, like pot holders, like silicone ones for when I need them. Because normally what you see right here, my wife has her little tray of um, sugars or whatever for a coffee. And then there's a basket typically here, which I took out for this video, that holds some pot holders. Silicone pot holders I could potentially hang over here, although I don't know how it would look. We'll see about that. So as far as the heating elements go in these, the GoWise USA air fryer has uh, a twirly heating element like you would see on electric stoves and the fan above. The Cuisinart has four elements above and two below and a large fan on top as well. The Ninja appears to have quartz heating elements, and that would be three on the top and three on the bottom. However, the fan feeds from the side as mentioned, so I don't know how well this is gonna perform as a air fryer in general. One other thing worth noting here is the cord length. Now, my GoWise USA air fryer oven, it's got a four foot cord and the cord comes out out of the center back, so you have a lot of flexibility. The Cuisinart, as well as the Ninja, only have about a two and a half foot cord or 30 inches. So the Cuisinart, if I was to put this to the right to the right of the sink, it doesn't reach the outlet over there. The Ninja, on the other hand, will reach, but there's an important thing to remember is that the Ninja power cord doesn't come out of the center like the GoWise. It comes out of the far right. So that could be an issue, especially since if you were to put this on the right side of an outlet it may not reach your outlet so keep that in mind that this two and a half foot cord may run you a little bit short in some instances for instance when i had this on the stove it wasn't long enough to reach the outlet but i have that other 20 amp circuit behind the stove that i can use for that now here are the mesh trays that you would typically use for air frying the goise measures nine by just over 10 inches the cuisinart is nine and a half inches by 11 inches and the inside dimensions of the Ninja tray is 12 inches by 12 inches. Now where these differ in that sense is, the GoWise, the edge of this tray right here is where it would touch the walls. So even though the dimensions of this one is just a little bit bigger, this you can easily pack your food to the edges and there's still an air gap on either side because it has to sit in that tray. Same with the Ninja is, I said this was 12 by 12, but it's 13 and a half inches square which means that you can definitely pack this to the edges and not have to worry about uh, blocking or a lack of airflow and because it is square you could just turn this in quarters if you had to if you want to cook something more evenly and that's because of the way this is designed not that it's a feature so I've already washed out the trays in the Ninja and in the Cuisinart, but what I am going to do since they are new is I'm going to run this through maybe a 20 minute cycle on both of those to burn off any of the extra greases or oils or residue that they use when they put these in the boxes. Yes, I will pull off the sticker before I do. And one thing uh, I want to mention that I had read was this claims to have a one minute preheat time. Now, I don't know what normal preheat times for some of these ovens because they don't mention that, but the fact that this says one minute and it's already started the countdown and now I can actually hear the fan kick up in this unit. So that's interesting. So I don't see any reason why you wouldn't want to preheat this just because it takes only a minute. The only thing to think of is if you are going to preheat it, pull out the tray you're going to use because that's going to be really hot and load up your food while that gets ready to preheat. Or maybe you just want to preheat it with your food in there. Okay, so the Cuisinart, it no longer says preheat, and I will note that this took a minute, so this in reality took about four minutes to preheat. 
Still not bad, but not nearly as quick as the Ninja. The light in the Cuisinart is actually really nice. It's uh, pretty bright in there. And with the Ninja, it's still bright, but it's such a, a shallow uh, oven. Uh, not a shallow, a short oven. Uh, you know, it's not very noticeable. I will say the GoWise light is pretty much useless. So I have a custom blend that I use here. And with that, I use one to one and a half cups of pink Himalayan salt, one cup of pure ground black pepper, about a half a cup or so of granulated garlic. You can do that to taste as well. Uh, and then a little bit of ground cayenne red pepper and smoked paprika. And I think it gives it a, a really nice taste. And again, I do that simply because it's faster. So I just give this a shake up every time I use it and sprinkle it on whatever I'm cooking. So that being said, what you really came here for was to see how these cook. And I am going to be cooking chicken wings. So with that being said, let's get ready to rumble! So what are we cooking today? Yep, you guessed it, chicken wings. So I've already washed and patted these dry. Uh, what I do is they come with the whole wings with the little nub here. And just to quickly show, I just cut this off and toss this aside. I usually throw these away, but a lot of people will make soups or whatever they want with this. But for me, nope, it goes. So I like to put a good amount of this seasoning on. Of course, we're gonna flip it and do the same to the other side. And repeat. Again, you could put as little or as much seasoning as you want or any combination of seasonings. This is just the way I like them. There we go. So the most ideal situation would be to cook three dozen wings, a dozen in each, just to see how well and evenly they coat on the inside and outsides. But three dozen wings is a lot to cook. I love wings. I could probably eat, you know, a dozen in one sitting myself, but I don't know if I want to eat three dozen wings in a day, you know, so maybe when I continue to cook and add more things to the list of things to compare with these, I will cook bigger meals. Okay, so time to start loading up the trays. Uh, go ice. I'm gonna get the four wings on there. And I guess the nice thing about having four wings only on each of these is we'll get a true sense of how even they cook with the air gaps. Next we have the Cuisinart. And last but not least, the Ninja. And one thing I forgot to notice, I did not put oil on these. You can if you want, and sometimes I do. It's the skin has enough fat on it that I think we're okay here. Okay. Go eyes. Okay, let's get these in. Remember with the Cuisinart, you have to have that bottom tray. You won't sit there alone. That start button. Now we put in the Ninja. I'll set the timer, my reminder timer for 20 minutes, but I'll probably check it in 15 because there's more airflow. Another thing I found annoying about the Cuisinart, other than the crumb tray and the temperature of 25 degree increments, is once you get past 30 minutes on the timer, it only goes up in five minute increments. I don't know what the heck Cuisinart was thinking when they did this, but I just think that's poor to do something like that. So these have all been heating up pretty well before I put the chicken in. So at this point, we're just gonna see how it works out. And one more thing here is the metal casings on these, like the Breville, they get extremely freaking hot, hand burning hot. You're not gonna leave it there. The go wise, the plastic case, it hasn't been an issue. We're only about seven minutes into cooking, but for the longest time, you can really hear the Cuisinart. You can hear the grease and fat, you know, making that sizzling sound which is interesting because neither the go wise or the Ninja are doing that. So it makes me think that the Cuisinart may be doing a pretty good job as far as cooking this goes. So what I found interesting after about seven, eight minutes now is the Cuisinart, you can hear it sizzling and you have been able to for several minutes now where the go wise and the Ninja, you do not. So it makes me wonder uh, why that is the case. You know, it does have the four heating elements up top 
and the ninja itself only has the three, but I haven't seen the ninja elements come on. It is hot, don't get me wrong, but I rarely see those elements turn on. And the go-eyes, well, it's the go-eyes. Also, the go-eyes, the top of the wings, have some color on them already. The Cuisinart does have some color, the Ninja, pretty much no color on it. Okay, to be honest with you, we're at about 15 minutes right now, and uh, the Cuisinart looks like they're ready to have their wings turned. You can see the color in that? It's not bad right now. I'm gonna get those back in there. go wise oven, not as much color. I'm gonna leave those in there a little bit longer. So I'll check on those in a couple of minutes and then flip them. The Ninja. It has some color now, but I'm still gonna wait to turn them. Okay, we're at a few minutes later and I think it's time to flip the wings in the go Eyes oven. See what we got there. We'll stick those back. I'm going to give the Ninja somewhat of I guess it would be an unfair advantage right now. I'm actually gonna turn up the heat because I'm not happy with the way, they may be cooking and they may be at the same temperature as the rest of the wings, but they don't have that crisp look on top. So I am actually gonna turn up the temperature to 430 degrees. Normally I'll do that towards the end to all of them on the second side, just to help it get that nice crisp up at the end, but I think it's unavoidable. We have to do it with the Ninja. You can see the bottom elements here, they're heating up. So this is actually cooking both sides at once, maybe in a more efficient manner, but I like the crispy skin on the wings and this isn't doing it. Okay, we're about 20 minutes, maybe a little longer into the cooking. And I'm gonna check these Cuisinart wings because I think they may be ready. If we look at that, yeah, that's pretty much the way I like them. And we're gonna check the temperature quickly in here for the wings. Find the fattest wing here. Yep, those are done. So we are going to hit the stop button here. Let's check the go-wise. Go-wise are probably up to temperature, but I want that crisp up a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna raise the temperature to 430 degrees. Now, Recently, or more lately, I should say, I've been cooking them at 430 more often because it cooks a little quicker and crisper. So should I have done that this time around? Probably, but my regular air fryer, I would cook them at 370 to 400 the whole time. So, you know, this is kind of what I'm basing it on. Now we're gonna take a second look at the Ninja to see how those are doing. And these, I think, are about time to turn around. The bottom does not look cooked even though the, it has that bottom element in there. I probably should have closed that oven door. Okay, let's do the go wise check. And they are crispy, not quite as crispy as the Cuisinart, but let's do a temperature check anyway. And they are at a cooked temperature. However, I'm gonna stick it in there just a little bit longer to crisp them up just a little bit more. Pull this forward away from the back. Okay, I think it's time for the go wise wings to come out. Okay, and that's crisped up a little bit better. Again, still not as good as the Cuisinart, but I think it's good enough. Okay, I think the wings are now officially cooked in the Ninja. We take a look at these. They are crisped up now, but I pumped up the temperature even further to 450, which probably needs to be the case because even though they call it an air fryer, I can call it a convection oven. So it requires more time and temperature than an air fryer and even more than these other two ovens the Cuisinart and the go Eyes, which I would consider a true air fryer oven so now that these are cooling down the Cuisinart and the Ninja get hot as hell that's for sure the go Eyes stay cooler again plastic housing so that's probably a really big part of it let's look at the mess okay we got the Cuisinart we see some grease on the front glass which is to be expected inside i know i criticize it for not having a crumb tray but there is by the looks of it no grease whatsoever but that is because the air fry pan itself was underneath which caused it from dripping grease underneath so that is another good point here the go wise oven which is probably going to be hard to see but glass is filthy but this was a little bit dirty beforehand inside 
you could see the drip tray in there which I lined with silicone is pretty messy and all around in general it is messy and the Ninja there is splattering on the glass in the front inside the pan is a mess and that's obviously going to be the case even with the Breville because there is no pan underneath it to catch the grease so there will be some cleaning involved which I would expect to be a little bit of a pain because you can't get near the quartz elements with anything hot or cool you could just kind of wipe down these um, protective sleeves or whatever you want to call it so um, again not great not terrible so let's take a look at these wings the Cuisinart cooked the quickest and it was cooked at 400 degrees the whole time you had that good convection going on color looks good on both sides the go wise USA air fry oven while the color isn't as dark as the Cuisinart they still look good and this is probably this is what I've expected to come of the go wise now the go wise did take a few minutes longer so we'll keep that into consideration and here we have the ninja okay and with the ninja I cheated I turned up the temperature twice from 400 to 430 to 450 now I probably should have left it higher be the whole time because I knew this was gonna happen because I consider this more of a convection oven because the air comes from the side versus an air fryer oven or an air fryer where the heat and the air both come from the top so we are actually now going to test these wings to see what I think okay I like small wings in general because they cook and crisp up faster so what I'm going to do is uh hmm I'll grab this one you can hear that crisp opening up and we're gonna try that and for the go wise we are going to grab this one which is the crispest of the bunch but it's one of the smaller ones so we'll do that break them apart and then we have the ninja and I'm gonna grab this one which is probably the smallest one of the bunch so we have the Cuisinart, the Go Wise, and the Ninja. I always used to like the drumsticks the best, but my tastes have changed and I kind of like the flats best. So I'm gonna grab a flat here. Okay, we got the Cuisinart wing. This is the best part of eating. Now, some of you are gonna complain that I'm talking and eating at the same time. I hate that, but for the sake of the video and timeliness, which I'm now increasing the time, I'm going to, uh, you know, hmm. making a little bit of a mess. Not bad, something tastes a little different about it, but maybe it's just me today. It's the first meal of the day, it's one o'clock. Now for the go wise. Now we have the go wise wing. Wing is on par with the Cuisinart, so I would say those are about tied, with the tiebreaker being one's faster to cook than the other. And we're gonna grab a ninja wing. And now the ninja wing. So, when I checked the temperature of all these wings, they were the same when I took them out. Well, roughly within a couple of degrees. I'd say that the Cuisinart and the Go Eyes USA air fryer wings were the crispiest, and they tasted good, right? The Ninja wings, 
Now I know I played with the temperature a bit and people will often cook things at a lower temperature and then blast up the heat at the end to get that crispness and that could be something to do with this and that's why I almost wish I cooked these at a higher temperature but the Ninja Wings tasted good they weren't as crispy but they were had uh, were more moist now people could say well it's because you overcooked the wings well I cooked them all the same so all things being equal which they're not need with these oven cases they should be just as juicy or moist as each other and what I'm thinking of the reasoning behind this is the fan will dry things out you have the go wise fan lots of air and it's noisy you got the Cuisinart not as noisy but it's pushing air down and then you have the Ninja which blows the air to the side so what does this all mean excuse me I'm gonna grab a drink well I don't know what it means it may be too soon to tell but let's talk about the talking points uh, the ninja best looking of the bunch hands down the as far as the compactness of the unit the go wise comes in first ninja second the cuisinart it's a big beast third speaking of the big beast it also has technically the largest capacity of all of them followed by the ninja and the in the go wise it's kind of i don't want to say on par because with the go wise you can cook taller food in there you have a rotisserie in the go wise which is something that neither of these two two units have so if you like to do rotisserie or kebabs the go wise is your choice but the ninja has a larger pan in it however it's very short so you're limited to what you can really cook in there you know but for us that's typically what it is it's smaller foods cost the ninja at uh BJ's was 180 but I've seen it for 200 to 240 on Amazon the Cuisinart Costco sold it for 200 uh, Home Depot I think was 260 to 280 somewhere in there I can't recall and the go wise when it first came out it was like a $220 item but now it's much more reasonable like at 120 140 depending on the accessory packs that come with it so I think the Cuisinart is overpriced However, it did do the best job, and it does toast. The Ninja did okay, took longer, took more heat, and uh, but the price was 180. It was lower. Now the Go Wise itself, and I've criticized it all the hell and hated it, but it really is the more versatile product right now. Now it does have, technically for me, the smallest capacity because. I only cook on one shelf. I think cooking, as I mentioned, two shelves is kind of useless because you don't get that good heat on the bottom. This is a tough one, and I don't think it could be summed up in one video of which one is better. It's which one is better for you. If you want an all-in-one device, you're either going to have to go with the Go Eyes, but it runs short on the toast, or, dare I say, the Cuisinart, which is pretty versatile as well. The Ninja, I'm not sure where it comes in. It's a low profile appliance, so it looks nice and small. It flips up out of the way, but again, I don't know if that's really gonna matter because most people who use their ovens every day don't clean necessarily clean them every day. And to flip that up on its edge, well, you're gonna clean the whole thing down first. So if you're gonna flip it out of the way for uh, laying out uh, big party platters and stuff, you know, it's a great idea. I really wanted to love the Ninja the most. I really wanted to keep the Ninja, but I don't know if I can. Um, which is interesting. The Cuisinart is a beast. It's huge, but it does pretty much everything. Now, it doesn't do the rotisserie, uh, neither does the Ninja for that matter, but I don't do rotisserie much. It's more towards the winter time when I can't fire up the grill that I might do the rotisserie or kebabs or something like that. And the nin and I don't know. It's a tough call, folks. I would say I cannot give you a straight answer right now, and that's going to be frustrating for a lot of you. But on the other hand, I don't want to give you a, a final 
uh, conclusion of what I think is better. Uh, the price, lowest price to go wise. Then you have the Ninja and the Cuisinart, depending where you buy it. Uh, compactness, as I mentioned, you know, it's, it's what you have room for. Because some people, like including myself, have tons of devices, although not all of mine are out, but they have multiple devices. So I guess if you had a regular toaster or a regular toaster oven and wanted something more, well then maybe one of these would fit the bill. But uh, right now I, I, I don't see it. I, I, I can't give you an answer and I'm sorry. I just will have to see what happens when I cook the next thing in these three ovens. So anyway, I hope you got something out of this video because I did. Not everything is what it seems, and there's a, a lot of factors that go into deciding what's going to be best. And these reviews, you know, mine or whoever, all the people I love to watch their food reviews and using the items, I think you have to take some of them with a grain of salt, but I, I, I don't know what to say. It, it is what it is, and uh, I'm going to continue to pump out the videos because now... I got three air fryers here. I was going to do the regular air fryer as well in this video, but I already know how it would have turned out. It would have cooked faster, it would have been crisper, and it would have been at a lower temperature, but that's all it will do is air fry. These other ovens will do much more, but that air fryer, when I first bought it, it was like $120 plus, and now you can get them at $60 all day long, and that's now the seven quart models as well. So take what you want away from that. please leave comments below because I want to answer. If you have suggestions, I want to hear them because I want to do these videos. I want to pick back up where I left off where I was putting out four to eight videos a month and I want to get back at that point. And I think that, again, it's important and I, I understand I'm rambling on and I apologize about that. But anyway, folks, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hey, if you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. But if you give me a thumbs down, do me a favor. Put in why you did a thumbs down, because that's going to help me. Um, yeah, so that's all I got for you. So again, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. That's a big help. Hit the notification bell if you want, so you can get as many or as few or as no alerts as you like. And remember, folks, don't forget to unplug all those air fryers. The ninja was still on. And by on, I meant it was still cooling down. More wings? I dropped a few pieces. The dog will be happy. And for those of you who care, my keto journey, I've been 85 to 90 pounds down. 90 pounds when I start carefully monitoring my meals and one meal a day kind of thing. Uh, but typically it's 85 pounds, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less, it all depends. But still running every day, still trying to watch what I eat. And uh, best, I turned 51 uh, two weeks ago now and I'm in the uh, best health of my life. And hopefully it stays that way. Have a great one, folks. Thanks for coming. Thanks for supporting me. Remember, descriptions. Tell me what you liked, what you didn't like. Take care. Okay, now what you've been waiting for. How are chicken wings cooked in each one of these devices gonna compare to each other? That being said, let's get ready to rumble!
annoying, wasn't it? <laughs>